Hey guys, it's Russell back and on today's video, I'm going to do something that's absolutely going to shock you guys. So this is the 1989 Chevy K1500. It's got a brand spanking new engine. This is a factory GM crate engine. Brand new, not rebuilt. So you guys know I love Amsoil, right? Absolutely love it. Best oil that is made currently, but I'm gonna do something that is going to amaze and probably shock a lot of you. I'm gonna be putting Castrol GTX conventional. Yes. Okay, so before you guys say I've lost all my marbles, let me explain why. This engine has uh, about 330 miles on it. This engine needs to break in, and to do that, you use conventional oil. I just, this is the first oil change. I've already drained the oil. Take the filter off, put a new filter on, and we're gonna be using Castrol GTX. Now, I wanna tell you guys something. <clears throat> I started using Amsoil about 1991. This is the oil that I used pretty much exclusively before that. In fact, I had never even heard of Amsoil. I was the change your oil every 3,000 miles or you're a complete moron. Well, I didn't know that that was pretty much 1960s thinking. Um, times changed. I didn't know. I didn't know any better. I was just doing it, right? And you know what? Here's the fact of the matter is, if you want to use this in your car and change it every, every two or 3,000 miles, it, there's nothing wrong with that, all right? There's nothing wrong with that. This oil is awesome oil but this oil is far inferior to Amsoil. Now notice I'm not putting Mobile One in here, okay? I'm not putting any synthetic oil in here until I hit the 5,000 mile mark. So I will run this 2,500 miles, change it again, and then run up to 5,000 miles, dump it, and then you guys tell me what you want me to put in here. But back to the topic at hand, I use this Castrol GTX conventional, back then I was using 10W40, and I'm sure the formula has improved since then, but, you know, I was doing what all the advertising told me to do, because I don't know what happens magically at 3,000 miles, other than the brilliant marketing efforts of all the oil companies to get you to purchase more oil. I'd never done an oil analysis, never heard of one, and I'm sure, even back then, the oil probably was still good. However, if you want to change your oil at 3,000 miles or 2,000 miles or 1,000 miles, there's nothing wrong with that. The, the sooner you change the oil, you know, your engine's going to last longer. But when you use a product like Amsoil, it's far cheaper in the long run. Because if I do this at 3,000 miles, I'm going to do about eight oil changes compared to using Signature Series, same oil. And that's far, even with this, that's far, far, this is far more expensive because I'll have to do eight, get eight, ga eight five, ga uh, five quart jugs of this plus five filters. Add that up. Okay, everybody says, well, Amsoil is too expensive. Okay, well, so it's nine, 950 a quart. But I do that one time, 950 times five, we'll say 10 bucks times five, that's 50 bucks plus a, a filter, an EA filter, that's 15. So you're at $65. Now, this is about, I got this at Walmart. This is about $17. 17 times five, or 17 times eight. And then if you're gonna, let's say you're gonna use a good Wix filter. You know, those are five bucks, five or six dollars uh, times eight. I mean, just do the basic math. It's far more expensive. And as much as I like Castro GTX, unless I was gonna be doing what I'm doing, breaking in this engine, I would not use this. It's not. This is old technology. It's not, it's not uh, have anything to do. It's not even hold a candle to Amsoil. But I would use this before I'd use Mobile One. I'm gonna do a video on why I don't like Mobile One. And part of it is the fact that they are traders in the industry. And I will elaborate on that why, but it has to do with the lawsuit when they sued Pennzoil. Um, anyway, so we're going to go back with 
the uh, conventional oil here. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Five quarts. So I'm going to, as soon as I do this, I'm going to cut open the oil, the, uh, oil filter that came off. It's got 330 miles on it, and we're going to see if there's anything in there. The oil, obviously, being uh, with that many miles was still on that. You couldn't hardly see it on the dipstick. It was so clean. And the, the uh, viscosity, obviously, is 530. And that's what I'm going to stay with. Okay. And it's what, you know what's weird? Is this isn't, I don't know. I guess it's still popular. All right, so let's go inside and cut open the oil filter that was on the engine at break-in. All right, so I'm set up in a different place actually on my workbench. I cleaned a bunch of stuff out of the garage here. So I'm gonna go ahead and we will open this oil filter and see if there's anything weird in here. I don't expect there would be. Now essentially, it's a brand new filter. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna get into all what is what on here, but let me grab a pair of pliers to pull that out. If you've never used Wix filters, they are outstanding. I'm looking for are any there may be some some sand in the block some casting remnants from when they poured it but there's absolutely nothing in here I'm also looking for any metallic any glitter and I don't see anything now my if you go back and look at the Oil, the first time I cut the oil filter open on the Honda, there were flakes of, I guess it was some, um, just some stuff that was left in the water passages, or not the water passages, the oil passages when they cast the engine, like a coating, it's like flakes of paint. But that was gone after the first oil change. So there's absolutely nothing weird in that filter at all. Nothing. Not even the hint of a glitter. Nothing. It's as clean as can be. Now, the question is, if I had to just use conventional oil, how long would I run this? Well, I don't know. I would do an oil analysis, probably at 5,000 miles, and see how the oil is faring. You know, everybody... Everybody's driving styles, situations are a little different, so who knows? Maybe the oil was would be wore out at 4,000 miles. I don't know. But just to make a blanket statement to say it needs to be changed at this certain mileage is, is not really... That's like saying everybody needs the exact same amount of nutrients, which is not true. But anyway, no surprises at all in this filter. It looks absolutely perfect. 
nice heavy duty filter and uh, let me show you the Wix. This is the 51, you've got a Chevy engine, it's the 51036. The 51036 XP is the one with the synthetic medium. That's the one I would use if I was going to, uh, if Amsoil didn't have a filter that would work. But I'm going to put an EA filter on there at the 5,000 mile mark. And probably I will go with, go back with the uh, Amsoil. What do you guys think? Think that's a good move? Think I'm crazy? Think it's just too expensive? Think it's stupid to go 25,000 miles on an oil change? What is your thoughts? i really like to know. I mean, you know, like I said before, you can do whatever you want with your car. And everything I've got has got Amsoil in it, and I've never, ever, ever had an oil-related failure in almost 40 years of driving. But I know there's people out there that say they have had the same thing with Mobile One, but it's just not as good of oil. Don't get me wrong, Mobile One is good oil. It's just not the best oil. And I like having the best oil. Anyway, I hope this was uh, helpful and educational. And I am going to go ahead and end this video. We will, um, I'll come back probably in the next oil change and we'll look at that. That, oil, that filter will probably have about, about 2,000 miles on it. And we'll look at that oil filter together. And I will see you guys on the next video.